We all know that reptiles are covered in scales, of course, but did you know that the scales on snakes come in different shapes and sizes? Today we are going to be talking about how unique snake scales really are. Scales are part of the integumentary system, which is the outermost protective layer of an animal. It not only includes skin on us, but also our fingernails, our hair, as well as of course hair in other animals too, plus feathers of birds, and even the hooves of horses. But today we're going to be just focusing on scales. Scales in the animal kingdom are more common than you would think, surprisingly. They're not just seen in reptiles, they're also seen in fish, birds, some mammals like pangolins or armadillos, and even some insects, more specifically arthropods or butterflies and moths. Scales is an example of convergent evolution, where different unrelated groups of animals have independently evolved a similar feature or characteristic. Between all of these different animals, scales do vary on structure and on their function, so today we're just going to be focusing on the function and structure of scales seen in reptiles. Scales in the Reptilia class come in three different varieties. You have smooth scales, which are obviously just very smooth looking scales. You also have granular scales, which give it kind of a bumpy appearance. And finally, you have reptiles with keeled scales, which means that the scales have a raised ridge down the center. Some reptiles, like crocodilians and turtles and tortoises, have some scales that have a bony deposit or a bony base called an osteoderm, and these types of scales we refer to as scutes, or scoops, however you want to pronounce it. The shape and size of the scales also vary along the body of the reptile. For example, some snakes may have overlapping scales on their body, which actually, the vast majority of snakes do have overlapping scales, except for on their head area, where they do not overlap. But the one exception that I can find anyway to this, or actually a couple exceptions, would be the sea snake. They don't have any overlapping scales. And the file snake, or the elephant trunk snake. Instead, elephant trunk snakes have granular scales, which gives them kind of that bumpy textured look to them, instead of the overlapping scales. Granular scales are seen much more frequently in lizards, like this Timor monitor here. And you can also see it in like Gila monsters. But in snakes, there's very few species that have granular scales, one of which being the elephant trunk snake. And even snakes that have, say, keeled scales on their back, like this one here, the scales on her sides are not as keeled, and eventually they become non-keeled, or they become smooth scales. And if you look at her belly scutes, they are completely smooth. So just because a snake is considered a, a species with keeled scales doesn't mean that every single scale is going to be keeled. But the big question is, why do some snakes have smooth scales, and others have keeled scales, and others yet have granular scales? Well, honestly, there is no concrete answer to this question, and many parameters can determine the structure of a snake's scales. Although we know the reason behind some species having the shape of scale that they do, we don't know why many of them have keeled scales, for instance. Some scientists believe it has something to do with the activity pattern of the snake, like whether they are diurnal or nocturnal, but there's no concrete evidence or proof to either prove or disprove that, so that's still kind of up in the air. Some people believe that the keeled scales offer better water retention abilities, so snakes that live in a more drier habitat might have more keeled scales to them to retain water. But then if you think of many desert species, there's plenty with smooth scales. So that isn't a very definitive answer either. Another theory is that smooth scales reflect light more, so it gives them more of a shiny or glossy appearance, whereas keeled scales break up the light and they don't reflect it as well, so therefore it kind of masks the sight of the scales on the snake, which may help them camouflage better. Killed scales also kind of break up the outline of the snake's body itself, which can also aid it in blending into its environment. In addition, killed scales can help snakes stick into thick vegetation. If you've ever tried to catch, say, a garter snake in the wild, they're kind of hard to pull out of thick grass, because it seems like their killed scales just hook onto everything. So it might have something to do with protecting them from predatory attacks. When it comes to granular or bumpy looking scales, the file snake or elephant trunk snake, which is most known for having this scale structure, we think it might be aided in movement underwater and sensing prey thanks to its granular scales. 
We've also read that keeled scales may give the snake a better grip on the dirt, so if it's burrowing underground it might help it get a better grip, or it might help a snake when swimming in the water because it can catch the water a bit more and make it easier to paddle through. But then again, there's some sources out there that say you only see smooth scaled snakes near the water, so really there's nothing that has been completely proven as to why some snakes have keeled scales and others have smooth or granular scales. We, we don't know. If you're in college and you're looking for a good topic for a dissertation, please study and figure out why snakes have these different scale structures so that I can learn from you. So those are the main varieties of scales that you see in the reptile class, but I'm sorry I don't have like a true like hard answer for you as to why they have these different structures. Although I hope you still learn something anyway. As always, we would like to thank our Patreon supporters for all of your amazing support on this channel. We, we really love you guys. We love everybody who's just watching our videos and learning from them. For those of you who are interested, this is Hannah. She is uh, from our very first clutch of snakes we ever bred. She is uh, a bull snake from Brad and Janet. And we were looking at her during filming actually and noticing how much like her dad Janet she is. And if you don't know this already, Janet passed away last year in 2019. So I'm so glad we hung on to some of his babies because then his legacy can live on through them. Man, she's so tame too. Yeah. You can tell she goes to programs. <laughs> Aww, you're so friendly. I love her. So thank you again everybody for watching today's video and we'll see you next time. Oh, actually I'm wearing bull snake shirt with the bull snake on. That's yeah. perfect. I didn't even realize that. There's someone at our driveway. They just put their car in park. You expecting anyone today? No. I'd be up here in my pants if I was expecting someone. <laughs> yeah, you're not wearing pants. I guess I'm gonna be answering the door. Oh! They're delivering packages! This is awkward if I'm just okay. talking. Here, I'll give I'll you just, her. I'll just stand in my underwear. Okay, I'll go get the underwear. door. <laughs> Hi, cutie! They're Amazon packages, but she wasn't in an Amazon truck. Those are probably things I ordered. Go under the towel. What are you doing? Oh, well. No, you can't have my bagel. Yeah. You can't have it, that's mine.